We end tonight in America's heartland. Kansas is among several states that currently pays nothing to people who have served years, sometimes decades in prison, for crimes that they actually didn't commit. Well, the state is now taking steps to change that, and it won't be a minute too soon for the wrongfully convicted man you're about to meet. Dean Reynolds has his story. When Lamont McIntyre was exonerated last October in a double murder case, <laughs> he walked out of a Kansas prison with a clean record, but not a dime to his name. You lost 23 years of your life. Mm -hmm. Now the state is offering you nothing. I think it's unjust, but me being angry about it is not going to change it. Kansas is one of 18 states that offer wrongly convicted prisoners no compensation at all upon their release. Sounds almost vengeful. <laughs> or neglectful at the very, for the, in the nicest way of looking at it. Tricia Bushnell of the Innocence Project worked to win McIntyre's release. She says McIntyre has other reasons to be angry. In this case, we have a perfect storm. For example, at his trial in 1994, when he was 17, there was no physical evidence or motive presented. Worse, according to McIntyre's current lawyers, the lead police detective, Roger Golubsky, built the case by threatening witnesses. Bushnell says the fallout may impact other potential exonerations. We have about a dozen um, of people who had already applied. These are people behind bars now? Mm -hmm. That's right. A dozen cases connected to this detective. That's right. Detective Golubsky has since retired and says he did nothing wrong. It was the same place that you But Mark Dupree, who became the state's attorney a year ago, has asked the Kansas Bureau of Investigation to review the detective's conduct. If my office receives that information and there's probable cause to charge Mr. Golubsky, it will happen. I mean, McIntyre got a pretty raw deal. He did. And the only thing that we can do is is push forward. It has to relax the hair, right? Uh -huh. Which is exactly what Lamont McIntyre, now studying to be a barber, is doing. I want to spend my, the rest of my life being happy. I want. I don't want to be bitter. That's taken away from me. I don't have no more time to give. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Kansas City, Kansas. Well, lawmakers in Kansas recently approved bills that would offer the wrongfully convicted. Fifty or eighty thousand dollars for every year spent in prison. That's the CBS Weekend News for this Saturday. Later on CBS 48 Hours, Arena Nine in New York. Thank you for joining us. Good night.